got to stand. Let's talk about being proud to be a scout in uniform. Scouting is a uniform organization. It's one of our methods. Baden Poole, long ago, found that the uniform unifies a unit. In the military, you can't tell where everybody is from, and therefore, it is a unit. It is a group. And that's the wonderful thing about scouting is that with, as in the military, one of the methods of scouting is to be a uniformed organization. And this is where youth are no longer boys and girls. They're scouts because of the uniform. And the same thing is true for the adults. They are scouters, all in uniform. Technically, every position within scouting, scouts and scouters, uniform is consistently a part of the program. The uniform tells the world that you're part of scouting. You can't make judgments or discriminate between the classes of society. This is something that Ben Poole actually found out in his Brown Sea experiment. Now, in the United States, we have a very standard uniform. Whenever wearing the uniform, a scout-appropriate t-shirt should be worn underneath the dress shirt. This is so that if the activity becomes casual, uniform shirts can be removed and the activity can continue in what we call a class B. Uniform should be worn to all scout meetings, all scout training. A complete uniform should be worn at boards of review. When scouts are traveling to an event or an adventure, they should be in uniform. Many scout units participate within parades and presentations. This, too, is a uniformed event. Now, we have covered in the past the basics of the uniform, and generally all of those situations require just the uniform. The full uniform with many of the pins and medals and uh, ribbons and all of the different things on that uniform should be worn at ceremonies, courts of honor, memorial services, and formal scout banquets. Now, places that a uniform would not be appropriate would be things uh, known as vice shops, whether it be alcohol, tobacco, etc., and political demonstrations. Always remember that the uniform represents all of scouting and everyone in it. It is critical to wear the uniform, to be the example, and that's what scout leaders do for the youth so that they can see what can be accomplished. Wear the uniform with pride. You'll be absolutely surprised how many people recognize the Boy Scout uniform. I've actually had people come to me and thank me for my service in scouting, purely because I'm wearing a uniform. Now, I do know of scouts that have had issues where they were being bullied and that they would place their uniform shirt in a bag and change it in the car on the way to the meeting. As soon as the meeting was over, the shirt went back into the bag so that no one where this where the scouts were living would know about it and could make them a target for bullying. We need to help these scouts. They need to know that we're there to help them and support them and to prevent bullying from occurring. Bullies look for targets, and the last target they should be looking for is the scout uniform. We, as scout leaders and scouters, know that scouting is by far the best option for America's youth, and we work so hard for our youth. Let's keep up that really good work and look sharp in your uniform, and I look forward to seeing you on the trail.